Hello! This is the third Explain Everything tutorial created by DAKanane.com. In this tutorial, I will show you how to record your prepared presentation and then how to publish it via the different options available to us in Explain Everything. Before I start to record my presentation, I like to make sure that all of the tools that I intend to use are set to the correct opacity, thickness, style and colour. I can always change these settings as I go through my presentation, but if I'm doing a live presentation, I do not want to ruin the flow for the audience if I have to fiddle with settings. So time spent before the presentation preparing the tools is time well spent. Now that I have set my tools to the settings I want, I'm ready to start my presentation. To start, I simply click on the red record button in the centre of the bottom of the screen. I then start my presentation. Explain Everything will record my voice and my on-screen actions. It can take time to get used to switching between tools to ensure that the action you want to show in the presentation happens seamlessly. So practice is a key element here to make the presentation slick. It can often help to have prepared a running order of actions and appropriate script prompts in advance of the recording of your presentation. That's if you intend to make a presentation solely as an online resource. Of course, if I'm using this tool in front of a live audience, then the end result will be much more organic. At the end of each slide, I tend to pause my recording so that I have time to gather my thoughts and set the tools to the next slide's needs. I then advance to the next slide, then after a final check of the tools, in this slide for example, I'm going to switch to the pen tool and use the yellow colour as a highlighter ink, and I've already set the opacity level to a low prior to the presentation starting. I then press record the start button and start the record process all over again. However, as you can see here, I forgot to change the pen width, so it's an easy fix and not too distracting to change one setting whilst presenting. I guess it's like being a magician and using sleight of hand and diversion techniques to ensure that the audience hardly notice the presentation edit. Again, fluidity is the key, and this comes with practice. In the previous tutorial, I showed you how to insert differing types of media into slides, and now in this tutorial you are seeing how Explain Everything handles each of these elements in a presentation and with the addition of the annotations and my voice being recorded. As you watch this, I want you to consider how you could use this tool as one of your lesson delivery options. Using a tool like this can be really helpful as a revision resource for students. Every teacher knows the pinch points in their curriculum, those key points or concepts that students get stuck with. Knowing this in advance and preparing resources to scaffold students through this learning pinch point can only help student learning outcomes. What this tool allows us as teachers to do is to capture key moments in the classroom learning cycle and preserve them for future reference to by students. This is what makes Explain Everything such a powerful tool for teaching. And that is before we consider what the learning potential is for students. Explain Everything enables us to import almost any media type into a slide. We can then organise this content into a logical structure, creating a scaffold of learning for our students. Think of your presentation as a digital handout with the added benefit of whiteboard annotations and teacher input that can be continually replayed. A suite of resources created with this in mind, installed on a school learning management system, will enable students to revisit lessons and crucially re-question teachers through the comments and chat facilities of the LMS. Here in this slide you can see how a video clip can be played and annotations can be placed over the top, again enabling teachers to illustrate key points to guide their students' learning. The flexibility of the app means that as teachers the uses and applications we can put it to are only limited by our imaginations. Once I have completed my recording, I scroll through the recorded slides to ensure the content I expect to be on each slide is there as it should be. If I click on the two arrows of the slide counter box to the left of the screen, a pop-up shows the order of the slides. It is at this point I can change the order of my slides if I wish to, by pressing and holding on a particular slide and moving it up and down the order as required. Now that my slideshow is complete, I want to share it with the world. 
In the bottom right hand corner of the screen are the various export options available to us. As we have created a multimedia presentation, the first option is not really relevant for us to save it as an image or a PDF, but you need to know the option is here. I want to export my presentation as a movie, so the second option is better for me. First I want to save my movie to my camera roll. When I do this, Explain Everything starts as two-stage compression process. This can take some time. I can, of course, upload directly to YouTube. If I click on this option, I am challenged for my account details, and I then have to add my Google account details and let the app and YouTube go through the handshake process of authentication. Once I'm logged into my YouTube account, it is a simple process of adding the relevant details to prepare my video for upload and promotion on YouTube. When I'm happy that all the details are accurate, I click the publish button and my video will be prepared and eventually uploaded. But a warning, this process can take quite a long time so be careful how you organise this and I tend to do it at break times so that no curriculum time is lost. There are other options here to share my presentation. I can also upload it to one of my already linked accounts. In an earlier tutorial I showed you how I have linked my Dropbox account. And now, if I click on the other option, I can select my Dropbox account. And because I have already authenticated the account, uploading is a simple case of selecting the destination folder and choosing the export option. Finally, I want to save my project within Explain Everything. This means I can play it within the app too, which is great if the internet connection is not great in my class on a particular day. To save it, I give it a name and then click on Save. This also means that I can update or edit my presentation in future should I need to. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for my latest tutorials. So until the next time, keep practicing!